Hi, this is Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative cellular therapies. Today, I have a special friend with me today. His name is Rex. Say hi, Rex. Doesn't feel too talkative today, I guess. Rex is short for Rexosome because Rex is gonna be the model that I use to explain why exosomes are considered the fountain of youth in medicine today. And today. All right, so it just so happens that Rex has inside him four of his kids. Isn't that amazing? Okay, Rex, I don't really need you anymore right now. Can you just sit there? Yep, thank you. All right, so Rex has four kids inside him and I've connected them, and I'll explain why here in a moment, with red pipe cleaners. Why do I have mice here to show you why exosomes are considered the fountain of youth? Well, it all started back in 2005 in, at Stanford University. They used a concept called parabiosis to experiment on skeletal muscle injury. So what they did is they connected mice together with their bloodstream. So that's why these pipe cleaners are red for blood, okay? And I just used their tail here. I don't know how they did it, but anyway. So the lighter colors are the young mice and the darker ones are the old mice, okay? Now this mouse, the old mouse, is the one that received the skeletal muscle injury. And they wanted to see how would it heal when it was connected to various other mice. The answer was as follows. When the old mouse was connected to an old mouse, it didn't heal well, as you might expect. It doesn't heal well to begin with, and it was connected to another old mouse. It just didn't help it very much, all right? Now, when the old mouse was connected to a young mouse blood supply, it healed like gangbusters. It healed faster, it healed more completely, and that's amazing, all right? When these two shared a blood, blood supply, awesome. Now, when the young mouse was connected to a young mouse, it healed great, just like you thought you, you would think, okay? It didn't change anything. So, the researchers at Stanford said, you know what, let's do a part two experiment. Let's do the same experiment, skeletal muscle injury, but that's, let's radio label the stem cells from the young mouse to see if those show up in the skeletal muscle injury. So that's what they did. And what do you think happened? Little mouse tail drum roll. Yeah, those stem cells didn't show up at all. There were no stem cells involved in the skeletal muscle regeneration that they could see. The question is, what was it from the blood flow of the young mouse, young Rex, that was helping old Rex heal. And the theory then and the theory today is exosomes from the plasma, okay? Now, subsequently, that experiment has been done numerous times around the country at Harvard University, at uh, Stanford as well, and others to look at different diseases such as dementia or a stroke or a heart disease. And they've done the same thing and they've showed that every time the blood flow from the young mouse helped the old mouse heal whatever disease entity was administered or modeled in the old mouse, okay? So the theory remains that it's the exosomes from the young mouse. All right, so that is part and parcel of why exosomes have become so popular around the world, and we use them outside the United States every day for regenerative therapies, all right? In subsequent videos, I will go through exactly what exosomes are, how they work, where they come from, but today is all about my stuffed mice. And you know what's cool is now I can put them back in Rex, Rexosome, and give them to my daughter, who probably has about 150 stuffed animals in her bedroom. But, you know, what's one more? It's pretty soft. She'll love it. 
All right, visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. You'll see a lot of educational information on there. Okay. Rex, tell them what number to call. If you call 844-GET-STEM, we'll set you up with a free consultation so that you can see if you or a loved one is a candidate for a regenerative therapy. Wow, thanks Rex, appreciate that.